What do you think about America's contribution to the forces fighting Nazi Germany? You picture tanks, soldiers, guns and aeroplanes, but the military planners on both sides of the Atlantic knew that effective transport was key to getting all those weapons and troops to where they were needed. And that's why hundreds of steam locomotives were built and shipped across the ocean, designed specifically to run on Britain's battered and worn damaged and war damaged railway tracks. And the numbers grew when America finally entered the Second World War in 1941. The United States Army Transportation Corps developed a design from which a large number of locomotives could be constructed to run on the wrecked railways of Europe. The S160 class, which was built using methods which allowed for efficient and fast construction and long life. In total, 2,120 were built and they eventually worked on railroads across much of the world, including Africa, Asia, all of Europe and South America. And after playing a key wartime role, the locos became part of America's efforts to rebuild all the nations affected by the war and although the vast majority are now scrap, there are no fewer than three of them on a small preserved railway in the Staffordshire Hills near Stokeholt Trent. The Churnet Valley Railway, running through a picturesque wooded valley near Leakham and up into the hills, has a, a specialised in restoring the S160s and the loco running on the day we visited was number 5197. It was built in June 1945 by Lima Locomotive Works in Ohio in the US of A. It was exported to China in 1946 where the Americans were trying to prop up the nationalist government and it spent the majority of its working life in the Chinese coal industry around Fushun before being withdrawn in the 1990s. It was saved from scrap by Derek Foster in 1995 who then brought it to Britain where it was based at the Hangothen Railway. In 2001 the locomotive was sold and moved to the Chernock Valley Railway where it operated for three years before having a mechanical overhaul and re-entering service in 2005 repainted into the U.S. Army Transport Corps Black and it ran on the Churlet Valley Railway as well as other preserved lines including Swanwich, East Lanks, North Norfolk, the Neen Valley, Keithley, Worth Valley and West Somerset before another full overhaul taking some years and a return to the tracks in 2017. Currently, it's a popular feature of a ten and a half mile long line running from Kingsley and Frogwall to Exton. Work has begun to extend the line, the line to the town of Leek, which will act as the northern terminus. The locomotive itself is an impressive and well travelled piece of history in its own right, and certainly a tribute to the skills of the volunteer railway engineers who keep it and its sisters operating and looking so good. But the thing about preserved railways is that it isn't just the steam engines, it's the historic carriages, it's the track bed and signalling systems and all the gubbins that makes the system work safely. Even though Frog Hall Station, for instance, is a recreation, modern buildings built where the historic ones once stood, it looks as if Victoria was still on the throne when the bricks were laid. It feels authentic, with the coal fire in the grate of the waiting room, tea room, and that sort of well-worn utility furniture that those of us who travelled before our railways were sold off to a bunch of profiteering cowboys remember well. 
Like number 5197, the whole endeavour is redolent of a different age and one that now seems more distant than ever before, despite the epidemic of nostalgia the poet was suffering. The days of steam and coal fires can never return, we know that the climate powers afford it in bulk. But the concept of railways serving small communities with reliable, regular services may also have to become part of a different future, where public transport becomes preferable to private vehicles. Well, the Cherwick Valley Railway already has viable plans to extend their line to an existing station at Alton Towers once they've completed the work currently underway to take the railway into Leith itself. Restoring a link to the main line at Stoke would make the theme park accessible by train from anywhere in Britain and reduce the thousands of vehicles that fill its enormous car parks and race through the country lanes of Staffordshire twice a day. Restored, preserved railways remind us of what was and what could be again, if we have the vision to see beyond the glory of Locomotive 5197 and realise that we can keep that and have a decent public transport system alongside it. Thank you.